Hey, you guys remember when I used to vlog? Yeah, that was sick. What's going on everyone? Back with another episode of Stuff and Things, and yes, I'm actually vlogging today. Crazy, right? I have some updates and other things that I wanted to share with you guys, which is why I'm doing this, but at the same time, I kind of miss it. Lately, everything that I'm doing just feels kind of stale to me. I'm doing a lot of review videos, which is fine and all. I know you guys like them, and I actually do enjoy making them, but I miss having that creative freedom where I can just do whatever I want, do cool things with cameras because I am interested in technology and stuff like that. I like getting kind of artsy, if you want to call it that, and I I really don't have a chance to do that anymore. I'm putting out so many review videos lately because it's just kind of easy to do for me. I have like a structure to how I do them. I can come home after work and just kind of bang them out from start to finish, film everything, edit, upload, and distribute it all where it needs to go in pretty much a couple hours. Because of that routine and how repetitive it is, it really doesn't allow me to get creative and do things that I normally wouldn't do in a typical video. I do have a bunch of stuff that I wanna share with you guys today, but basically what I'm saying is that I want to make myself vlog more. That's how this channel started and I don't want that to go away at all. I figured I could probably do it like once a weekend, however, next weekend I have family coming to visit, and life just kind of gets in the way from time to time, but from here on out, I think you guys can expect more vlogs. A lot of you guys ask for them all the time, just carrying around my camera, showing you what I'm doing in my life from day to day. So I'm bringing it back, we're firing up the vlog once again, now let's get this day started. This is just gonna be super random. Like I said, uh, this is one thing that I wanted to let you guys know is this is the lens that I bought when I was out in Vegas last time when I switched to this newer camera setup, which I love by the way. I think this looks good and people keep saying on my videos, yo, did the quality get a little bit better? It did, it got a lot better. So this is a Sigma 14 Prime 1.8 that I bought when I bought the body that I'm filming on right now. I did a few videos using this, but after a while I realized that I kind of wanted it to look more similar to how it used to look. My main lens before was a 10 to 18 super wide angle lens, but it was on a crop sensor, the ADD. So what that means is that the true picture was more like a 15 to 16 millimeter lens. These two lenses being on a full frame camera, this is a 60 Mark II. Anything that I throw on here will be true to what the lens actually says it is. So the 14, this thing looks great. I'm gonna switch over to it in a second now. The thing is for video making though, it's just a little bit too wide unless I'm sitting down and just talking to a camera like this. If I'm cruising around town filming other things, I think it's just a little bit too wide. I still love the look of the lens. It's a great, great piece of glass. However, I wanted to switch to a lens like I'm on right now to kind of get that same feel, more of a flatter look. So let me swap these out and show you what I'm staring into right now. Woo, that is super bright. That's a little bit better. So this is now my primary lens. This is a Canon 16 to 35, which replicates the 10 to 18 on a crop sensor lens a little bit better than this 14 Prime does, obviously. It is a huge lens. It is also a very expensive lens. However, this one is pretty expensive too, and this one is a little bit lighter, so it makes it easier for carrying this whole rig around town. I still really love the way this lens looks, and I don't want to sell it, but man, buying lenses for a full frame camera like this can get very expensive very quickly. I guess I kind of I had that coming when I decided to upgrade to a full frame camera. It would be super sick to just have a whole plethora of lenses that I can pick and choose for the right shooting situations. So I kind of want to sell it because I'm going to be using this a lot more, but at the same time, I just really like the way it looks. Anyway, that's one thing that I wanted to update you guys on. You might not be interested in camera stuff, but I am, so I'm going to I'm going to talk about what I'm interested in. I'm actually gonna keep filming on this lens until I go and start doing things that I need to do today. Another thing that I wanted to bring up since I really haven't talked to you guys since last weekend when this ended. The Sunday Gunday shirts and merch campaign has officially ended, so huge thank you to everyone who went out and actually picked something up. I know you guys were asking for shirts like that for a long time, so if you can think of anything else merch-wise that you might wanna see, let me know and I will see if I can design something like that. This is way long overdue, but shout out to everyone who bought stuff at 100K. These were the 100K merch shirts, hoodies, and coffee mugs and pretty much everything else that I had made for that campaign. Thank you to everyone who picked up that America gear. You're all looking pretty fresh. And I might as well answer this common question. A lot of people see this merch after it comes out and they're like, oh dude, I can't pick those up in your store anymore. The only thing in my store at talentside.com are pop sockets and hats. It's really just taxing and time consuming to set all that stuff up and do it by myself. So when I do the coffee mugs and shirts and anything on like a Teespring campaign like I've done in the past, like the Sunday Gunday shirts, those run for two weeks and then once it's gone, it's gone 
on unless there's like a crazy demand to bring them back so more people can buy them. The reason I like doing that is because I release them in increments. I did like a 10K shirt, 50K shirt, 100K shirts. And then most recently the Sunday Gunday stuff was at about 175,000. I like doing that because I like when I see you guys tag pictures, whether you're wearing it or maybe I even see you out in public somewhere. If you're wearing an OG green and blue TS logo, then I know you were here from the very, very beginning. I had those shirts made just before 10,000 subscribers, so it's kind of cool to just gauge based off of what you're wearing when you actually found the channel. The Sunday Gunday shirts and mugs are already in the process of shipping. A lot of you guys probably have them already, so if you do, tweet me some pictures of you guys wearing this stuff, maybe tag me on Instagram, and then in the future, maybe I can include you guys in a video just like this. So thank you to everyone for that support. It's kind of getting late in the morning now, so I should probably go outside and do what I need to by now. Oh gosh, that's so bright. Here's a common first world problem that I've kind of been having lately is which board do I take when I wanna go out and run errands? A lot of them are good, some are not so good. These cheaper boards are, they're okay, they're nice and they ride well and everything, but if you have a Ferrari, why would you not wanna drive it? Saturday morning now so I kind of have to run around town and do some errands before typical places close like the post office. I've got a bunch of packages in my backpack because I had recently started doing the Patreon live stream giveaway. Basically I've been getting a lot of stuff, things to review, lights and gear and things like that that I have duplicates of or I just simply don't have the space to keep it all. You guys see how small my apartment is, I don't really have much storage space so what better to do with all this extra gear than to give it away to the people who support me most. I'm trying to do those live stream giveaways at least mm, once a month, maybe once every two months. It's kind of hard to tell. It depends on what I'm getting in the mail for review. So if you want to check out Patreon and the exclusive Discord and everything that comes along with that, there's always a link in the description down below. Yo, this place is huge. Packages en route, shout out to Zach and Brian for supporting me over on Patreon. You guys should have some new gear waiting in the mail, hopefully early next week, maybe Monday. That is really the only thing that I actually had planned for today, so I think it's about time to grab some lunch. sitting on your table, I think people just automatically know that you know how to take pictures. All right, solid lunch. Now I'm gonna go back to my apartment and pick something up that you guys haven't seen in a long time because I haven't even used it in a long time. But for a while there, it was one of my favorite video making tools around. Been through the ringer a couple times and I'm sure you guys already know what I'm talking about. So let's go get that. All right, this is what I was referring to. You guys remember what's in here? Let's hope this works.
successful drone flight in a long time. You guys probably saw the videos in the past of me crashing that thing into a sign, getting it stuck 50 feet in a tree and then free climbing it and cutting a branch to have it drop into a creek. The drone has been through a lot, but it's still ticking and I think it looks good. I don't really know how that footage looked. I was just looking at it on my phone, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that little throwback to flying drones all the time. I'm headed back to my apartment right now to check out that footage and get everything edited, hopefully put this up on the same day that I'm filming, Saturday. And on my way back, I wanted to let you guys know what I have going on in the next couple of weeks. So first up, in two weeks, I believe it is, the Cinco de Mayo weekend, I will be flying out to Dallas, Texas. And I know a lot of you guys are from Texas, so hopefully you're in the Dallas area and you could come out and maybe meet up with me. I'm gonna be there for the NRA convention with some of my friends that you may know, like Roger from QVO, Mike from Last Line of the Fence, Danny from Gun DMC. We're all getting an Airbnb together and we should be having a good time kind of cruising the convention, meeting different companies and people. So if you're gonna be there, let me know in the comments down below. It would probably help if you follow me on Instagram and Twitter and then maybe I could like schedule some time to meet up with some of you. And that kind of brings me to the topic of meetups, fan meetups if you wanna call it that. A lot of people have been asking me to do something Something like that for a while now and the reason that I haven't is because it just seems I don't know it's kind of new to me it's not weird I guess but it's just something that's really new rather than just setting up a time to come and like meet me and take a picture or whatever you do at a meetup like that I figured I would set a little something up I've been talking about it with some of my friends and people on patreon so in a couple of weeks from now June 9th Saturday June 9th right now I'm thinking 12 noon ish it is so damn loud here. Saturday, June 9th, 12 o'clock noon, we're gonna have the first official but kind of unofficial stuff and things meetup right here behind me at the Clevelander in South Beach, Miami. Anyone is welcome to come to this. I already know some people even booked hotel rooms here on the beach, so if you're in Southern Florida or you wanna come down for whatever reason, we will be here. It's gonna be myself, some of my friends like JF and Rhodes and Jero. Some of their girlfriends are coming, Patreons are coming. There's just gonna be a bunch of people who enjoy the same stuff and we're gonna hang out, chat, have some drinks. We're doing it around noon this time because as you can see, all right, I'd say that it's not crazy, but to be honest, it is a little crazy right now. But rather than doing it at night when it gets really crazy, we're gonna go hang out there. They got DJ and it's gonna be a good time. So put it on your calendar and maybe I will see you guys down here. There is some wild sh going on over here. What the hell? Uh -oh. Pretty sure that was like a gay bar, a drag bar, and they're having a drag queen contest. So we're not having the meet up there. We are meeting up Saturday, June 9th at the Clevelander, 12 o'clock noon. All right guys, back at the apartment and I think that's where I'm going to end this video for today. I don't wanna hit this vlog thing too hard, you know what I mean, kinda of ease my way back into it, but hopefully I'll be able to put these out more often. I'm gonna shoot for at least once a week, but don't quote me on that, I'm gonna try my hardest though. It's still pretty nice out, so I think for the rest of the day I'm either gonna to go to the beach or just lay out by the pool, so if you guys wanna see what I'm actually doing, maybe I'll go out tonight. I should probably go out tonight. If you guys wanna see what I'm doing with the rest of my day, follow me on Instagram. I typically go live and use my story a lot. I'm really trying to grow that in case anything happens with YouTube. I explained all of that in the past. So yeah, if you could follow me over there, that'd be great. If you are new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe because I make new videos every week and that's going to be all for today. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.